Um, I'm busy making a video on, on how I how I make bottle walls and then I realized I I was remiss. I didn't show you guys how to make the bricks that I make in the bottle wall, that I use in a bottle wall. So I want to show you, you first of all, you're going to need these. Maybe before I show you that, I need to show you one of my early works. <laughs> Don't judge me. This was a young, this was an early attempt. And <laughs> even the cameraman's laughing. So I was, I was wondering, how do I join these bottles together? But can you imagine having a wall this thick? And it's almost not going to transmit any light because you're only going to get that little bit of light in there. So I thought there must be a better way. So I want to show you the better way today. Um, you're going to need uh, bottles, obviously. And guys, and this is really important. Remove the labels. Do whatever you need to do, but remove the labels. Don't leave the labels on it. They, they, uh, some of them are easy to remove. Some of them are really difficult to remove. These guys, you just pull them off and they they're gone some of the other ones like the black label bottles you just put them in water for an hour and the, the the labels just slide off if you leave the labels on they're going to start eventually they're going to stick to the cement but the cement isn't going to stick to your glass and you're going to get a bottle that's loose in the wall and it's going to ruin your wall so you're going to need bottles you're going to need a glass cutter and i'm going to put up a, a, a description in the link a, a, a link in the description uh, about where we can buy this i got this one of wish then I also have another a kind of a bottle cutter. Mr. Cameraman, if you could just point there quickly. This one, also got this on Wish. It's got a little saw like this that can cut glass. It's very useful if you're working with square bottles. All right. And then you're gonna need a you're gonna need a soldering iron and something to rest your hands on and a light surface. All right. I'll be back with you in a second once I've set up all of this stuff. Okay. Okay, guys, I wanna also wanna encourage you to to wear some gloves when you when you're cutting the glass. Um, I will put in a photo here of what happened. Uh, what happened once when I cut one of one of these little buggers, one of these black label bottles. Uh, this glass is deceptively thin. People are always going bang and cheering each other. This glass is really, really thin, and the bottle shattered, and it cut my whole thumb to hell. Right, so you have your your uh, glass cutter, and you decide on the thickness of the walls, and then you set this thing at half of that thickness, because two of the bottles are going to fit together. So you get it in there, and all you do is you score it. And don't press too hard. And when you hear the glass starting to sort of crunch, then you know you've you've done your score line. There you see it all the way around, right? And we're going to cut it on that line. Let me do the other one, and then I'll show you the rest of the steps. Guys, so um, we're ready now to cut the, the glass. The first thing I want to talk about is the soldering iron. You need about an 80 watt. Uh, this is a 60 watt. It doesn't work on the thick bottles, and my 80 watt eventually burnt out. So, uh, but you need at least an 80 watt. It gives off enough heat to go even through the thick, uh, the thick glass. Second thing is wear some kind of eye protection just so you don't get glass splinters in your eye. And then you're also going to mark your bottles like I did here with a, with a permanent marker, just so you know where you're starting. And I'm going to ask my cameraman to come and stand here behind my back so you can look over my shoulder. You're going to go around three times uh, at the, at the line. I mean. Starting at the line, we're going to go around three times.
beautifully. Okay, and now all you do is you'll find that the crack follows the heat. You can see the, the crack actually following the soldering iron there. sometimes you can just lift the top off otherwise you do that and careful this edge is hot that's pretty much a perfect edge two of these I'll show you what you do with them okay okay so this one broke rather crap so for that I'm gonna use the uh, the the glass saw and you just take him right on the line and you start going Again, make sure you're wearing some eye protection in your area that's fairly ventilated. wonder if I give it a tap now. And that's good enough. These two, we will now join together like that. And then you make sure that the undersides of your bottles, uh, in other words, the ends are nice and clean. If they like this, then they're not clean, and believe me, it's going to irritate you for the rest of your life. So, bottle brush, here I come. And so I clean the two of them. There you go. Nice and clean. And you want to make sure that they're nice and clean because these need to, they, they're going to transmit light. And if there's anything stuck in there, you're going to see it forever because you won't be able to get it out of the wall again to clean it. So let's stick them together. And the magic in ingredient that you're going to stick them together with, duct tape. You can use pretty much any colored duct tape because they almost always have a light colored inside where the gluey side is. So you tear off about, oh, I don't know, about that much. Right. 
stick it down on the on, on, on a counter put your bottle down up to the middle ring and and notice this one still has rough edge, rough edges this doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect and you want to more or less stick to bottles that are roughly the same size you can deviate with with sizes but you don't have to worry too much about it as long as they're just more or less the same size and there's your glass bottle brick now you can build a wall with this once this thing is in the wall only the ends are going to stick out as you'll see in the other videos the cement is going to cover all of this probably not going to stick a whole lot here so again that's not a problem this is going to this thing is going to be there for the lifetime of that wall and so you put your cement up to there bottle next to it cement in between all the way around and you build up your wall you guys will see that in the other videos thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this remember to like and subscribe bye